Hello everyone, today is going to be a quick burn. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marley, I'm a fourth year med student. So at this point, I have a fairly decent idea of what works and what doesn't work when it comes to you know, resources for studying. After the last video on apps that I think are helpful, people are like, wait, what about podcasts? And luckily, your girl is a big podcast person. So today we'll focus on the ones that I've personally listened to and that I think are worth people's time. So let's get on into it. First up is one that I think is applicable to all four years, even through residency. It's called the Fixing Healthcare Podcast. Most of their content is stuff that we probably should be learning in medical school. <laughs> stuff about our current US healthcare system, its issues, possible solutions. And even if you're not like already in this world, if you're not like MBA oriented or like a finance girly, if you're gonna be a doctor, you gotta learn this kind of stuff. Cause because apparently our $250,000 to total tuition over four years of medical school does not get this kind of information covered. We don't get to learn <laughs> in a regular curriculum at the typical medical school how you get paid as a doctor, how do hospitals even work, and what, where does, what happens with the prescription? Where does it go and how does that even work once it gets sent off by you? You know what I'm saying? You don't really learn much about the US healthcare system, but even is medical billing and coding, haven't heard of her. All of this stuff that is so practical, but they just kind of kick the can down the road and are like, ah, oh, well, you'll figure it out later. And a lot of the residents and attendings are like, yeah. It does, it's not fun to learn on the fly when you're on a job. So just learn it earlier if you can. So that's what I think this podcast is really helpful for. Next, I'm actually doing a twofer with two podcasts that are pretty similar, but kind of have a different approach. If you're an M1 or you're an M2 or you, and you don't really know exactly what you want to go into, which is normal. Okay, that was definitely me and very few people actually know exactly what they want to do and then end up doing it by the end of med school. So if you're like 80 to 90% of students and you're like, I have no idea what specialty I want, that's okay. These podcasts were extremely helpful for me. One, the undifferentiated, undifferentiated medical student, and two, specialty stories. They just go through a ton of different specialties in medicine, bring on different doctors that are currently practicing, and they ask them a million questions about how they got into it, what their typical day is like, and whatever, whatever, how, just about their specialty. And I found these super helpful because most med schools, like, yeah, you have your core rotations and you have some elective options, but those elective options vary hugely from school to school. And there are so many specialties out there and ways of practicing medicine that I did not know existed. And we just don't get exposed to all those different practice types and specialties that are out there actually. So these podcasts are super helpful for shedding light on some of those. And that is how I found out about aerospace medicine, which changed my career trajectory entirely. And I'm very, very, very glad that I listened to these podcasts for that reason. 10 out of 10 recommend. Next one up is one that if you're in M3 or M4 year, uh, you may have heard about this one already. It's called Divine Intervention Podcast. I use this one for step prep and for spot checking things right before taking uh, rotation shelf exams. I thought it was pretty good, but there are some errors, some inconsistencies in some of his podcasts that made it a little bit confusing at times uh, to keep straight. So for like broad overviews and for connecting ideas, I think it's really helpful, but for like guideline specific things, take it with a little bit of a grain of salt and double check each of those because I almost got screwed over on a couple of those because I got confused between what he said and what like Anki slash the actual official guidelines said. Keep that in mind, but I still think it's a great podcast. I also looked like while I was going through all my rotations, I tried to find podcasts that were rotation specific to see if they were helpful at all. And I really didn't have a lot of luck with one exception. There's one called the EM Clerkship Podcast. Concise, topic specific, great tips on like high yield pimping material. Honestly, no complaints whatsoever. It's a great one. 10 out of 10 recommend. For your EM clerkship. We're already on the last one. Last one is Inside the Match. This is one that I am currently listening to quite a bit as I'm going through the residency application process, which is crazy. So this one's obviously more geared toward M3s and M4s. They bring on program directors and program coordinators and other really awesome guests to talk about the entirety of like the application and match process, like apps, interviews, interview com communications, and a lot of it is like specialty specific. It's always helpful if you're applying to programs, at least the last thing you wanna do is like waste your time. And so you get to hear kind of inside scoop on what they actually care about, what they're looking for, what their uh, process for application review is. 
in a lot of cases. Very eye-opening. So I've really enjoyed listening to this one. So definitely recommend Inside the Match podcast. And that was it. Those are the six that I found the most helpful. Listen to myself either previously or currently. And I'm sure there are some out there that either I didn't listen to, I didn't find, or you know, ones that I tried and just it didn't make the list. And maybe other people find them helpful. So if there's anything that you have been listening to or listened to in the past and it helped you out at any point in medical school or even as like a pre-med, drop it in the comments just to help people out. You know, we have all these resources and it's such a process filtering through all of them. I found these podcasts on Spotify and I would assume on every other major podcast streaming service, you'll be able to listen to them with a subscription. But also if you don't want or need a subscription to like Spotify or Apple Podcasts or whatever, maybe like at the very least Divine Interventions has a website and you can access all of the podcasts for free there as free as palestine should be so just wanted to make that clear in case anyone's like well you have to do the spotify or like the apple podcast subscription you don't have to by the way to be clear none of this is sponsored okay this is all just stuff i use and i'm talking about it because i think it's helpful and hopefully it is for you too so wrapping up please remember to hit the thumbs up button hit the little alert bell thingy and also subscribe if you haven't already that helps me know that this content is helpful to you and it also helps get this out to other med students who may be struggling and looking for this type of content thank you so so much for watching everybody hope you have an awesome rest of your day and catch you next time